Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, last week, I put up a video on the WTWO Facebook page, also my TV Facebook page, Jesse Walker, WTWO, on how to make a thermometer with things around the house. Well, I have part two up now. That's how to make a rain gauge. So if the kids are sitting at home and want to do something, it's real basic information, just a little science project. And again, you can make a rain gauge. I've also got the video up on there, how to do a thermometer. We'll put some more of those up as we head through the next oh, three or four weeks. We're just about done reviewing the winter outlook. This was the call on precipitation. I thought it would be below normal. Normal is just under nine inches. I forecast eight. Well, I was off on that by about an inch and a half. So there's my percentage with one day left tomorrow to finish the wrap up. This is, though, how interesting long term forecasts can be. When you look at precipitation for the entire winter, December was drier than normal, February was drier than normal. January was above normal. However, when you take out one day, January the 10th, when we got two inches, that means that 90 of the 91 days, remember I had a bonus day this, this winter with uh, Leap Day, 90 of the 91 were drier than normal, but one day, one day can take that entire forecast away from you. So it's interesting when you do long-term forecasts, one or two days can make a big difference in that long-term outlook that you have. 60 was our high today. Temperatures above normal today. 43 has been the low. 85 and 18, that would be your record high and record low on this day. No precipitation today. Anything tomorrow I think is mostly going to be more to the south of this area. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow. We are now over 12 and a half hours of daylight. River Sage in Terre Haute 18.2 and it's currently holding steady. Here's what we've got in Terre Haute. We're at 60. Relative humidity low though at 39 percent. Winds are northwest and the pressure is dropping now as low pressure develops and heads this way. Temperatures are pretty close to 60 all across the area right now, so pretty mild. Here's our storm down to the south. It's developing, and it's going to pass mostly to the south, but close enough to bring clouds in. You can see a lot of the rain. A lot of this rain is going to hold just south of the area, but the clouds are already on the increase from the southwest, increasing up across this area, so skies will become cloudy overnight. Clouding up actually pretty quickly tonight, but rain chances are mostly just south of here for tomorrow, it looks like. And then by the time we get to Wednesday and that storm moves away from here, we'll start to see the clouds breaking up and skies becoming partly sunny once again. So, again, I can't rule out maybe a few showers tomorrow, mostly in the southern counties, but I think most of that is going to stay to the south. Wind coming in from the northwest now. Tomorrow we'll see north to northeast, eh, maybe 10 miles per hour. Then as we get into the day Wednesday, more of a north wind again, 5 to 10. So we had a lot of wind over the weekend. Still pretty breezy today. Not as much wind over the next couple of days. So looking longer term now, here's Wednesday evening. That storm moves away. Thursday and Friday look fine. Saturday starts out okay, but some showers will be possible as we get later into the day. Think we'll catch a break on Sunday and then another system with some rain chances by Monday. So not a washout, but some scattered showers from Saturday to early next week. Core of the coldest air is right there tomorrow. After that, we modify and temperatures are looking pretty good, actually very good as we wrap up the week and head for the weekend. So your forecast for tonight then becoming cloudy. Temperatures will not drop a lot, down around 38 or 39. Then for tomorrow, a lot of clouds will be around, maybe a couple showers in the south. 47 for the daytime high, so a lot cooler tomorrow. After that, temperatures will get a whole lot better as we take you into the end of the week. 54 on Wednesday, 62 on Thursday, and 68 on Friday. Really mild. Looks like scattered showers on Saturday again Monday, but overall, pretty nice. Temps in the 60s right through the weekend. That's a wrap on the forecast. We'll be back right after the break.